Uh, hey, I uh, thought I would do a video for chemistry because this is how I um, visualize how the um, photons absorb and get ejected from an atom in the valence, well, maybe not the valence shells, but as photons. And uh, this is the best way I've been able to visualize it, and I wanted to see if I could present it to someone else. And see if maybe it helps them understand it a little bit but um we're just gonna pretend that um each of these bushes beans cans uh represents a photon and of course as you add photons you gain energy levels as you add another photon you'll gain another energy level and this um this car for lack of a better example piece will represent the um, electron what I meant to say um, to start with um, an electron wants to be at its ground state where it's most stable and we're just gonna pretend that this table is at ground state and as you add photons into the equation it gets raised and from this point uh, the photon is the energy source uh, the electrons been raised to another energy level and for example you can't halfway add uh, energy it has to be an entire energy level like say this let's this is a perfect example since it's round you can't this is full energy it's full height this is half energy Half energy does not work because it, it just doesn't. It falls off. It falls back down to its you know, ground state. So when you have a full uh, energy advance go up one entire energy level, there's an energy level. And for the electron wants to get back down to the ground state. And for that to happen, this energy needs to get re-emitted as it was absorbed as a photon and as that happens if I well if I was to properly demonstrate this I would take this Bush's beans can and throw it out the window and that would be the emission of a photon but for example we're just gonna do this the electron falls back down to the ground state and this you know gets emitted for lack of a better word so back to where we was first photon entered into the equation second photon entered into the equation can't halfway add it you have to add it all the way this is two energy levels uh, beyond what it was at the ground state now at its maybe not perhaps what is actually its most excited state but we're gonna say this is a extreme or an excited state maybe not the most but this is an excited state uh, several energy levels up if we were to take all these, the effect would be different. You would have a bigger crash. Significantly louder than it was. Um, that would represent a different photon being emitted. This crash... Oops. Is different than... The fall of an electron at one time. It's not as great. As you add more energy, more energy must be admitted. You can, in fact, though, lose one photon of energy and just fall a level. And that would also give you a different photon emission. So that's how I've represented this in my mind. And I just thought maybe if I had displayed to someone else in that way, um, that they might better understand it like I did. You know, visual effects always seems to help me a little bit when I can picture it with an example like this. So, uh, I hope that helps somebody out. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can get uh, my chemistry teacher to play this, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I'm out.